your next comedians, uh, once the first time on the show, very talented. Give it up for Miss Fernanda Tapia. Did I say that correctly? Yeah. Did I say that correctly? You got it. All right. Hey, what's up? What's up, beautiful Hollywood people? Hey. So, <clears throat> I don't get camping, okay? A lot of my white friends try to convince me to go camping. They say, oh, oh my God, it's so fun. <laughs> or really, because I see people camping all over Hollywood. <laughs> and it doesn't look like fun. <laughs> and then they want me to go on an adventure in the forest where people get killed. <sighs> I'm good. <laughs> I've seen criminal minds. <laughs> See, I'm from Nicaragua. Any Latinos? Didn't think so. Because in Nicaragua, we don't need to go camping. We were born camping. <laughs> I remember as a little girl, I walk into my tent. First thing I do, I take out my shoes. Because it's my weapon. It's gonna be a fight between me and the roach on the corner, flying, and the crickets and flies. Why would I go back to that, huh? White men. <laughs> See, my mom didn't sacrifice her life to bring me to United States of America for me to go back to camping. See, after Nicaragua, we moved to another third world country, uh, Miami. <laughs> Man, I was so confused when I moved to Miami because I thought guys were gonna look like Brad Pitt and not like Pitt Bull. <laughs> so I go visit my family once per year, you know, for Christmas. <clears throat> I just came back, it was amazing. No white people. But my mom gets mad at me. She goes, oh my God, you're so skinny. I, I hate when people say that, because, oh my God, you're so skinny. What, you don't go up to fat people and be like, oh my God, you're so fat, right? Because that's mean, right? But skinny people have feelings too, you know? And then my mom makes fun of me. She goes, you're gonna go to the gym? What are you gonna work out? Your bones? I'm like, hell yeah, I'm gonna work out my bones. I don't want my bones to break when I'm old. Like Mr. Here right here. What's your name, sir? I forgot. Marty. Five, five. Yeah. Um, but I told my mom, I said, Mom, I live in Los Angeles. Every restaurant I go to, the food is gluten free, dairy free. Everything's free except for the price. <laughs> You're taking out the gluten and charging me for it? <sighs> okay, put the gluten in a to-go box. <laughs> See, you have way more opportunities living in the United States. Like for example, student loans. Anybody have student loans? Right? It's like, oh, I don't know about you, but I just keep deferring them. <laughs> Why not, right? But then I got a letter in the mail saying I couldn't defer them anymore. So I'm gonna pretend like they don't exist. <laughs> just like people in LA do to the homeless. <laughs> Thank you. Man, um, East Coast people here? Yeah. Woo! Man, I miss New York. I miss real people, you know? <sighs> I remember I took the subway and the smell is just delightful. <sighs> it smells like piss, you know? <laughs> From the rats. And people are always in a rush, they're like, oh my God. Oh my God, I gotta go to work, I gotta go to work. Cause that's what real people do, they have jobs. 
people in LA have jobs too. Um, boob jobs, <laughs> blow jobs. It's the law. How much time do I have, sir? 3.45, damn. Okay, um, any actors in the house? <laughs> you work at a restaurant too? Uh, <laughs> man, I wish there was some special student loan for being an actor in LA. Being an actor in LA is freaking expensive. You gotta pay for acting class, improv, audition technique, core reading, breathing, voice. <gasps> and then I booked a role. Yes, thank you. <clears throat> but it was deferred payment. <laughs> That's my time, guys. Have a great night. Thank you. Fernanda Tapia.